Hello everybody, welcome to the Garlitz High Performance Garage Channel. Hope everybody had a good Labor Day. For those of you who work, hopefully had a good Labor Day, because a lot of you have uh, a holiday every fucking day because you don't work, but I'm not here to bitch about that. I'm here to say a little bit about Chevelle. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I can't really run it no more. Um, needs transmission. But if any of you watched any of my other videos, which you probably didn't, uh, I did a service on the Turbo 400. It's in here. And uh, it had gray fluid. Um, I changed it two times that week. Hopefully to help them clear the the shavings out of it. It didn't work. It worked for a little bit. Um, it's shifting really bad now. It shifts like, you know, it's just, it's slipping real bad. It's like it's wore clear out. So, I have a Turbo 350 out of a pickup truck that worked really well for me in the past. I had this truck like... 13 years ago, uh, was a 1983 C10, and it was a custom deluxe, and it had an inline six, and it had a turbo 350 transmission, and it shifted slow from second to drive, but it did it the whole time that way. I think that's just how it was designed. I think just those, those years in the 80s, that's just how they were. Unless they made that shitty 700 R4 overdrive that the overdrive always went out of. But anyhow, we're going to drag it out. I'm on vacation this week. We're going to drag out that transmission and we're going to buy a shift kit. We're going to put a shift kit in it. We're going to put new seals in it. Clean it up real nice. Um, I don't know if I have to put a dipstick tube in it or not, but... I might just use my old one out of the 400 here, put in there. But I'll need a kick down cable. I might have one of them here, I don't know. But if not, I'll just go buy one. And I'll have to buy a bracket to put on my carburetor because I don't have one. Because this Turbo 400, it's an electronic kick down that's on it. And I never hooked that up either, but somebody tried to at one time. The guy that I bought it off of, he was trying to hook that stuff up and he never did hook it up. So. Anyhow, we're going to put the Turbo 350 in, the shift kit, and we're going to go out and rip and tear some more, hopefully before the snow flies. You never know. And another thing I want to talk about is um, fucking TikTok. What is the deal with that? The Everybody on that son of a bitch is full of shit. There are all kinds of fucking lies on that son of a bitch. Like, every time I turn around, and there's these commercials that come across TikTok that are, oh, oh, the president's putting out a new stimulus. Go here and find out how much you're going to collect. There's there's no stimulus. There's no stimulus check coming. I don't care. Go long straight here. There. Yeah. Anyway, there's no stimulus checks coming. They didn't say anything on the news about it, and they usually broadcast that, especially when a when a Democrat, you know, and it's close to midterm elections, they'll brag about, oh my God, the president put out those stimulus checks. Remember, you know, I'm a part of that party. Vote for me, because they'll all come and you know, practically lick the corn out of your fucking asshole to get your goddamn vote. But. Uh, I get tired of that. If anytime I go in there and watch it, I'm I, I'm actually I, I think I'm just going to kill my account with TikTok because it's gay. It's so horrible. It's so awful. And those bitches on there that shake their tits around, they all all of them do the same thing, and they're all fucking prostitutes. All of them, they're all prostitutes. So you know they're just on there advertising their tits and their ass and everything. 
to get you to come buy some puss. So the best thing to do is just, you know, not watch that horse shit. I mean, it's nice to see somebody shake their ass and their tits around, but, you know, when you get my age, it, it doesn't matter, really, because there's nothing you can do about it. And it's just, it's a bunch of shit. It's just a racket to get your money, because that's all these bitches care about anymore is robbing your ass blind. Oh, hey, let's, let's, uh, <clears throat> Let's get our tits and our pussies out, girls, and, and flash them around and get some idiots to give us some money. And it's always these young guys, you know, that think with their dicks. And, oh, look, look at these bitches. And probably three quarters of the time, you go to meet one of these bitches, and they'll have some great big fucking guy there, and it isn't even her at all, that beat your fucking ass and take your money. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I've never done that kind of thing. I've never ran out there to try to meet any of these bitches because... It's just a big scam. Like ever, like three quarters of everything in this world today is a scam. Scam, scam, scam. Like, for example, you get those TikTok videos, like the skeleton back there I have sitting in the one seat. That skeleton has a rubber skeleton mask on. And if I was making a TikTok video, I would have somebody go back there. And I'd CGI this shit and make that skeleton turn its head back and forth. Oh, it's a ghost. Oh, ooga booga. It's a ghost. Oh. You know, and you'll have that bullshit. Watch the video till the end. You'll have that bitch on there that's like electronic or electronic voice. Watch the video till the end. Stupid. It's fucking stupid. It sucks. It's fucking retarded. God, it's... Oh, it's awful shit. I just can't believe these people. <clears throat> believe this shit. Oh my God, did you see that ghost in that garage? Did you see that ghost? Oh my God. Huh. Oh, I'm glad I'm not there. The paranormal's real. It's not. But anyhow. <clears throat> let me let me show you a little couple things I did to my truck here. Um, I think I think I'm gonna have to put a fuel cell in this thing. My <clears throat> I keep getting dirty fuel in my line, so I put a tin sign on the back here. It's not a big deal, but it kind of breaks up the blue a little bit. I think it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Plus, I have all these fucking stickers here and. All this bullshit in here. I got my seats in. They worked out pretty nice. The truck runs very good if you can keep it running. So, I put two fuel filters on at this time. I've actually went through two already. <clears throat> and the shit... This is in there, which I'll show you here in a minute. You got another sign over here. There are them dirty oil signs. Oh my God, it's so horrible. How dare you put oil signs on your vehicle, you piece of shit? Because you know we're we're all we're all we're addicted to oil. We're not addicted to it. I ended up having to clean this holly out too. It had a bunch of mud in it. Here's one of the fuel filters I changed. And as you can see, it did its job because there's no dirt in this end. It's all around the media, the filter media in there. Look at that. Look at all that dirt. The other one was way worse. So I'm kind of wondering if I keep running the truck, if it'll clear up. I really don't know. The truck, all together, counting, sitting here in my garage. It has sat here in my garage for eight years. Um, it sat under a carport down in Flintstone, Maryland. Yes, that is a place. <clears throat> it's not called fucking Bedrock. It's Flintstone. And... 
it sat under a carport for probably three or four years. And then it sat in a basement down in Cressup Town at a guy's house where I bought it. It sat in inside his house for probably, I don't know, five years maybe, give or take a few, something like that. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, baby. Ah, uh, all right. I have another filter on here that's clear for now. There is no dirt in it yet. But then I put this great big pure later filter on there. It's supposed to be like for, uh, I think like an F-150 or something, or F-250, something like that. A gas engine. Um, they're usually underneath. You don't see them. This is really big. It's kind of like what's on my um, Mercury out there. It's, it's very similar but it's a lot bigger. So these filters here are excellent. I mean, people don't change these filters because they do such a good job at keeping dirt back. Now I'm going to keep this set up here and I'm going to run this truck. I'm going to run it um, everywhere I can, when I can. And we're going to see what the hell happens. So, of course, the, that air cleaner came off from parts truck. And this other Holly 600 came off the parts truck up there. So, these inner fenders, I believe I'm going to lose those. I'm just going to take them out because they are not long for this world. They are pretty rough. This one over here, it keeps falling apart. Uh, somebody patched it with pop rivets one time. I get some holes through there. I think for the power steering, I'll just have to cut through there. And he even braced it. I'm going to half-ass brace on there because it's... Ah, oh, it sounds so bad. It sounds like nothing but rust. So I'm going to have to uh, take this. Of course, I, the washers don't work. I'm going to take that bottle off. Anyhow. And I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet, but I'll probably just, I might, I might use that to cool my fuel because they did that before with it. It's not hooked up to anything right now that I know of because I have the transmission lines ran down in this cooler, I think. Ah, fuck, I don't know. Maybe they are hooked to something. Fuck the fun now. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I, I guess they are. But anyway, I, I don't know. I haven't had the engine or transmission out of this truck, so I couldn't tell you. <coughs> but anyway, we're um, going to run this setup, and we'll just see what happens. How it hangs out here. <clears throat> I came back from the street rod round up that day and left me sit in Frostburg for a little bit till I got some gas to run in the filter again and it came to life and took me home. So, I guess we'll see. We'll see uh, how it works. But in the meantime, we gotta get the transmission out and we gotta get it cleaned up, get seals in it and a shift kit. And we'll be good to go. It's back here around all my weightlifting shit. <clears throat> I need to go through this place and get rid of some shit. <clears throat> but yeah, there's there's the transmission right there. I gotta drag it out of there. It has a kit. Oh my, can't talk. It has a kick down cable. I don't know if it's long enough. It might be. Maybe. I don't know. They come off a six-cylinder, so... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows. But anyhow... Uh, I can get around here. 
Everybody have a good one. Um, uh, we'll, I'll make another video. Hopefully the next one you see will be the Chevelle in action again. So. All of you have a good one. I'll see y'all here next time. Try not to get scammed by TikTok. Is it that... That's even a fucking stupid name for uh, somewhere the place videos. It's even, it's retarded. So I have like three videos on there and they're just of my car. And <laughs> got beard hair all over me. But anyhow, I have a couple videos on there just of my Chevelle and that's all I got. I'm not on here dancing or, or trying to make everybody full of fucking, believe a uh, bunch of fucking bullshit like they do. They constantly, it's constant horse shit on TikTok. It's, it's fucking retarded. It's stupid. And all their videos suck unless this car don't want a goddamn burnout. Other than that, I don't know. Use your own judgment on that because I'm um, quite frankly, I'm tired of the scams. Because all they want to do is make a living off of you. And they want to make a living off hardworking people. And it's just a bunch of shit. So everybody, have a good one. And we'll see you here again.